How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. By now you probably heard about MoviePass. MoviePass. But have you ever stopped to consider if it's actually saving you money? First, I'm gonna go over really quickly what the heck MoviePass is. MoviePass. MoviePass is essentially a subscription service for going to the movies. You only pay $10 a month and you get to watch up to four movies every single month. What you do is sign up for the service and within two weeks, you'll get a credit card like thing with the MoviePass logo on it. You have to physically go to a movie theater and then you use the app to buy one of the tickets there. You can't buy IMAX, 3D, XD, D-Box, or any of those special types of movies. After you select the movie on the app, they load money onto your credit card, and then you use this credit card to buy that very ticket at a kiosk. After you get your ticket, you can of course go and watch your movies. You can watch up to four movies every single month. Now the limit used to be one every single day, so potentially you could watch up to 30 movies every single month. You can only buy one ticket per membership, and you can only watch every single movie only one time. So if you really like a movie, you cannot watch it multiple times. Now it becomes interesting interesting how they can actually make money because if you're only giving them $10 every single month and you watch more than one movie every single month, they're essentially losing money here. In fact, the parent company Helios and Madison bought the company MoviePass a while ago. Before they bought the company, they were losing about $7 million every year. After they bought the company, they're losing about $150 million every single year. This means it's about $144 additional million in losses they're taking on every single year. Now currently in April 2018, they have about 2 million subscribers. So let's just assume they have 1 million subscribers the last year. $144 million loss, about $10 a movie, let's estimate. You get about $120 million in subscription fee because $10 every month, 1 million subscribers, 12 months in a year means they take in 120 million every year. But even with this subscription payment, they're still losing 144 million every single year. So you do a little math here, about 260 million of movie pricing that they've paid the movie theaters. You divide this across 12 months and also about 1 million subscribers. This means that every single person on average is watching about 2.2 movies every single month. People that are getting this movie pass are watching more than one movie movie a month. Now, why am I talking about this? Because I want to talk about this in the point of view of saving you the most money. Before getting the service, you want to ask yourself, how many movies did you watch last year? For me, I only watch about four movies because I'm not that big a movie goer. Using vouchers I bought from Costco and then sometimes I get XD movies and stuff because I like watching it on big screens. It essentially rounds out to be about $40 for me for those four movies. Now, if I bought the membership for the full year instead, it's going to cost me roughly about $120 instead. Now, in comparison for this $40, it means I am spending an additional $80 for whatever reason. If I normally don't buy that many movies and I suddenly get the service, it's certainly not gonna be worth it for me because after I get the service, I'm gonna feel compelled to go, oh my gosh, I'm paying $10 a month, I should just go and make it worth my while. I need to go watch at least one movie every single month. But you really have to consider that I probably would not watch these additional movies if I did not have the subscription service. Because of the subscription service, I might be pushing myself to try to use it. Therefore, I might be watching all these not as good movies because generally, I only go out when there are really, really good movies that I really, really want to watch. And this is once in a long time. Now, let's say you go to the movies more often than I do, maybe 10 movies a year. Still, you are still paying $120 for movies. And that means you're spending $20 in addition to what you normally would spend. Even if you somehow manage to watch 20 movies, 30 movies, you still spent $20 more. Now, you have to think of this in terms of net worth and expenditure you are essentially causing yourself to spend more. Yes, you might be making your per movie cost lower, but in the end, you're still making yourself spend more. Now, what are the options here in order to save yourself the most money? My thinking is throughout the year, there are not always really good movies. Sometimes there are more good movies than other times. For example, during the summer months, there are often more good movies on. So technically it takes about two weeks to get your membership card. So it might be good to get your membership at the beginning of the summer months and then you watch as many as you can, which means a maximum of four movies every single month. So if you do this for three months in a row, you'll get 12 movies and you only have to pay $30 here. And then afterwards, maybe when the winter months comes out and then you're not watching as many movies, then you can and go ahead and cancel that subscription service. For a lot of people, if you continuously watch movies throughout the year, then even if you watch just more than one movie every single month, it's gonna be worth it for you. So go ahead and get that. I hope you enjoyed this way of thinking
thinking about when to get a movie pass subscription service for you or not. If you're interested in supporting the channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you don't like this audiobook or this service, you can cancel it before the subscription expires and you don't have to pay a thing. And yet you can still keep this audiobook for free and help benefit this channel. I have a Patreon over here where you can get exclusive access to some of my finance videos where I purposely do not release it to the public because sometimes it's a little bit too sensitive. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to that subscribe button so that you get a new notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.